Hey, buddy, it's Invicta. It's time to the Eden run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Woo-wee! The Mosh Pit destroying the Like Street goal on the TM Trainer episode, as predicted now that the time of this recording is over 7,000 likes, nearly 8,000, and that gets us a double on the Like Street counter now, putting us one away from the All Items Tier List live stream, which if it does happen, like I said yesterday, we will be doing the live stream here on YouTube this weekend. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a long stream, but a fun stream, and uh, make sure you tune in to check it live. And if you don't find it live, then that's okay, because it'll be here on YouTube for the uh, VOD replays. Here's your artwork of the day submitted here by the first dogma. Title threat was the moment Sin knows he won the run. And then in uh, quote or in uh, parentheses says by me. <laughs> I do love this one. Again, this is a new this is a new type of shading that we haven't seen in a while. I kind of like the 3D aspect, and then you combine that with a little bit of a 2D uh, on Eden there with a little bit of sissy too. So thank you very much, the first dogma, and everybody who upvoted that one. Yeah, the mosh pit really coming out in droves, supporting the uh, channel. Oh, boy. Seed day is going to be Foxtrot Hotel, Bravo, Victor, X-Ray, Romeo, Victor, Echo. Uh, we've got Mini Mush, which is the reason why we're so tiny. We also have Delirious, which... Uh, mm, yeah. But, uh, you know, we've got good movement speed, good tears rate, good damage, good shot speed, good range. I mean, everything is great <clears throat> except for our HP, really, and that's... You know, that's not a huge big deal, um, but we just have to be careful. But because we just got 8-inch nails as well, our damage is going to be able to protect us and keep us going until we do actually finally get some more uh, HP here. In the 4.5 volt, wouldn't be too bad if we didn't have a, uh, well, Delirious. Delirious is not a good item. I, in my opinion, it's not a good item. Yes, it can help you kill some bosses and, or clear rooms. Uh, but for the most part, it's largely forgettable, especially for the ridiculous cooldown. I mean, 12 rooms, like that's that's essentially an entire floor that you can use your space bar item once. You know, you think about other you think about other active items like the Book of Shadows, or Book of Revelations, or even like something like Metronome. Like that that sort of thing is, in my opinion, I think that that is a um, got hit there. I think that is that that's just a way better use of not only your not only your time but also like your active items and on top of that like it actually helps you get through a run. Whereas Delirious, I, I, like I said earlier, again you can get some good use out of it to kill some bosses, but overall it's going to be pretty much replaceable as soon as you get it. Um, now, what would I do to improve it? Well, the first thing that I would do is uh, I would definitely I would make it the I, I would at least have the cooldown at least. Uh, if not more than that, I'll make it like a three room cooldown if, if the game really wants me to use it. Um, and then secondly, just give me more incentive to have like a, you know, hey, if you use Delirious, the, the boss is going to stay with you for multiple rooms or it's going to stay with you for, you know, for, for the entire floor, like Friend Finder. That would be awesome. That would be a little bit maybe too powerful. But hey, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that unless, of course, you know, you're the developers of Isaac. Um, I'm going to go use this this uh, temperance machine real quick and look at that old bandage coming up with big time plays here look at that old bandage we'll just keep going here and uh, this is just going to help pay for our future unicorn poop it up and uh, maybe we'll get another another proc of old bandage I don't want to go too ham here yeah we'll take blood bag that's totally fine <clears throat> we'll buy this we get a lever's card of course we do so Really good, really, really good. So a fantastic start for our base stats, fantastic start for our passive items here. I mean, we're leaving floor one with five items, y'all. That's real good. That is muy bueno. Uh, now for the question of the episodes, I haven't decided how I'm gonna like, what I'm just gonna call those yet. Uh, but what I'm thinking is letting like maybe like three or four days pass for for the uh, the answers to kind of accumulate, and then we'll and then I'll start reading off like the top questions or comments or whatever, um, you know, beginning that that initiative to uh, to increase overall comment comment consumption and also posting and uh, you know I, I do I, so far I really love how uh, how people kind of latched on to the idea so it does help out the channel a great deal and thank you all very much most likely what i'll end up doing is i'll ask the uh i'll ask the question of the episode at the end of the episode uh, that way you know incentivizes watch time and also sort of rewards those of you who do actually watch everything through um i guess technically you could just skip to the end but i'll, I'll make it i'll make it you know not too predictable but probably towards the end because i mean i have no idea what i'm going to be talking about during an episode. It's not like I'm reading off of a script or anything like that. So 
Yeah, well, just it just goes with the flow. That's the whole that's the whole shtick. We're uh, trying to clear this room here, and maybe we'll get a good item to start with. In oh. <laughs> spin down Dizzle. Okay, well, uh, Sharp Straw is great, but it ain't no spin down die. Oh wow, look at that! We even get ourselves a uh, we even get ourselves a Soul Heart just randomly here. Only reason why I did that was because I thought maybe we'd get a little bit more love in the uh, on the pot section. But let's go take a look at our boss item. So spin down dice is going to lower the item ID by one every time you use it. Now, this is one of those items, and we talk about this every single time spin down dice comes up, that you're going to need to have the external information mod. In fact, I would go so far at this point just to say they need to include the external information mod in the game itself. Um, because there are situations where, you know, those of you who are on console or maybe on mobile, um, that you don't have access to those mods and uh you know and they're extremely extremely they, they i mean they're invaluable really because in regards to spin down spin down dice you don't know what it's going to unless you have the, all the the loot tables memorized which if you do then you're a complete psychopath um oh wow we get genesis 2 here that's five keys and then genesis we got to take pentagram. Is there a full charge? I mean, we don't really need Genesis, though, as the thing. But we could, we could make this run better. But then we would lose spin down die. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I, what I am going to do, though, is I am going to spin down a uh, booster pack and get sharp key, so we get five keys. Because that's a, that's just one heck of a deal. And then. Uh, Yes, I think we're just good. Spin down die is it's just a fantastic. It, it, it's it can get you any item in the game, even items that you haven't unlocked yet, which is kind of neat. Uh, and on top of that, you can really sort of pick apart your build and say, okay, this is what we want. If you get lucky with the item pedestals, you might, hey, I need a tears up. Oh, look at that. We got mini mush. Or, hey, look, I need some HP. Oh, hey, look at that. We got uh, super bandage or black lotus. That's the kind of thing that I love about spin down dice and other die in the in the game is that, you know, I'm a, I'm a big, big advocate when it comes to giving yourself as many options as possible on Isaac because overall you're going to have more fun and you're going to be more successful. <clears throat> you're going to be winning runs that are usually a little bit tougher than uh, than others and that is going to be built on the back of you essentially just giving yourself, hey, I need the best chance to win. How do I do that? Well, you give yourself the best chance to get the best items and spin down die is one excellent way to do that. Um... So we can, what we can do is we can either get, if we really, really, really wanted to, we could get Black Lotus. Uh, Cricket's body is also certainly an option, but for us to get that many charges, especially with four and a half, four and a half volts, going to be a little bit tough because uh, our damage, our damage is while it is very good, it's not quite there yet. We should be able to fill it up here before. Uh, yeah, we. I mean. We need we need to get Cricket's body for a tears up. Even though we do need HP, um, and Black Lotus certainly would be a big help for us. You know what we could do is we could use the Moon card here after getting a full charge on spin down, and then and then just piecing out, and then we can go back and get another full charge uh, off of uh, off of Pestilence there. So in a very it's a little bit of a wonky play, but at the same time it makes sense to me because. If we sat there and fought Pestilence over and over and over again, we're, I mean, we're just wasting charges thanks to the four and a half volt. Um, yeah, we, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make a decision and go for Cricket's body. I mean, Black Lotus would be pretty good too, but I still think that right now our tears rate is not bad. No, I don't misconstrue that. It's not our tears rate is not bad at all. I just want more tears, and the splash damage from Cricket's body is also pretty nice. We have a large amount of knockback already with um, with the eight inch nails. Small rock. Eh. Our movement speed, our movement speed's fine. So, one bomb for four cents is not a great trade, but it's not terrible either.
But this is the downside of having the four and a half volt is if you don't have a if you don't have a large amount of burst damage, uh, or if you just you know if you if you don't have a lot of a lot of real estate on the on the map front, like a lot of a lot of rooms to cover and stuff, you're not going to be able to deal a lot of damage, and that is going to severely limit the amount of charges you get on your active item. And spin down dice is one of those items that you really, really, really want to have lots and lots and lots of charges for. Like we may have to do this challenge room here just so we can catch up in charges. A brain worm is also going to be very nice if you if you're wondering what is making our tears do that. That is. Our trinket that we just picked up, and essentially, it's kind of like a poor man's uh, spoon bender in a way. It essentially makes your tears turn at a 90 degree angle uh, and target like the nearest enemy, and it's pretty good. It, it raises your shot efficiency. I'm all about that. And we are definitely going to be able to get Cricket's body now. Even if we don't find a full charge inside of the shop, we can uh, make up that charge on Pestilence. I'm going to go into the shop real quick just to see if there's a full charge in there, and then I won't go back. There's not, but there is card reading, though. You know you know me. Your boy loves some card reading. Oh, baby. I'm going to take card reading here. I'm also going to grab this soul heart. Um, so we only get one spin down die at this point for the rest of this level. Um, let's go back and let's go finish off Pestilence. Maybe get a Devil Deal. The only reason why I'm not using Spin Down Die yet is because maybe we can get something even better than Pest than um, Cricket's Body. And then we can go back and get Gimpy, which is not a bad item at all. So Again, leaving yourself some options. This is going to take a little bit longer than I'd like, especially if we're trying to make Boss Rush, especially, especially Boss Rush with Spin Down Die. I mean, that's a huge, huge benefit there. Hey, Pestilence, can you like... Yeah, thank you. So we get ball of bandages here. This is an orbital. Goathead and Spear of the Knight. We can only take... Well, we, we can actually take both of these. Um, so we'll take Spear of the Knight for flying and Spectral Tears. And then we'll take Ceremonial Robes for... Because essentially they're free. And Sin Robes is just a big old damage upgrade. we we'll go back, get Cricket's Body. And then, uh, yeah. We'll be all good. But man, what a, what a heck of a start here. We got. I'm. I'm feeling so good. We might even. We might even go grab ourselves a, a curse room or two here. There we go. Get ourselves one and a half soul hearts. Cricket's body gives us a big old tears up as well. And I tell you what. Got to make. We got to get a move on if we're going to try to make boss rush. But man, what an absolute baller start we've got going. And uh, again, most of that is due to. It, it's due to good planning with with uh, spin down die, but also good. It's good luck. Uh, I don't know where our super secret room is. Could be anywhere, but yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna hold on to brainworm. I am gonna go into the red portal here. It's easier to work work back from the boss room than to go from like the item room or the beginning of the level because at least you know exactly where the end of the level is, and then. More often than not, if you go to the boss room first, it's going to show you... Uh, I don't want... Eventual Spirit's kind of... Uh, most of the time, it's going to also be relegated close... Or, or at least somewhat near to the uh, shop as well as the item room. So, in my opinion, if you ever go... If you do take card reading, which you should because it's an amazing item... Um, having the ability to go straight to the boss, it, it accomplishes two things. One, of course, you get to go straight to the boss, although it does kind of hurt your chances for a Devil Deal or Angel Deal, depending on if you like to blow up Judgments or Keepers and that sort of thing. But secondly, as you're seeing right here, it also speeds things up and expedites the process of you finding a... Uh, oh, holy man. Oh, baby. Uh, finding your item room as well as the shop. Let's go get ourselves a full charge, you know? And let's go get uh, Holy Mantida. Holy Mantle is going to be absolutely invaluable 
And then we can work on getting that full charge and then go grabbing Isaac's tomb. Wow. Uh, let's not use a let's not use two keys because we might be able to bomb our way in. Although now I'm not so sure. Vaults are almost never worth the cost of the keys. I say almost because sometimes they are, but not always. Uh, let's go see if we can get a full charge here. Can't, but there is a steam sale though. Okay, okay. Maybe a slight misplay there. I could have played the judgment before placing the bomb. Okay, so we are going to be able to get steam sale. We do get some extra bombs as well, which is always good. Don't really want ringworm. I think ringworm is not uh, not really conducive to what we currently need. Although it does give you a tears up. Um, I'd rather have the seeking, heat seeking uh, properties of brain worm. But now I feel like we're dilly dallying a little bit too much on this level. Um, there's a secret room. Secret room doesn't really matter to be adjacent to the curse room here because we have holy mantle. So. Yeah. Wow, another soul heart just randomly. What the heck is going on here? And all this for Isaac's tomb, which... Yeah, I mean, in Isaac, Isaac's tomb is... It can be decent. It's not It's not Miss Boss Rush decent, but... I think with card reading, we, we should still be okay here. Really, the downside of, of anything that we've got right now... So... <laughs> So for those of you, those of you who kind of roll your eyes whenever we take card reading, you're like, "Oh, here we go. We're just gonna skip the entire level." Uh, no, we literally just did a full clear, to backtrack and get a and get a full charge for uh, for spin down Dizzle. As a tomb gives us a whole butt ton of uh, soul hearts here. Isaac's Tomb, by the way, is going to give us a guaranteed chest at the start of every single floor, and that can be... It usually gives you a bunch of bad trinkets, um, but sometimes can give you a ton of soul hearts, or even better, give you angel angelic items. It can give you any item, really. Um, but what you're seeing here is, like, this is the downside of having 4.5 volt. Oh, is that, a, is that a rock bottom I see? Oh, my gertie. Oh, my gertie. Pin down, die, and getting and getting rock bottom. Name a better duo. That little sissy. So you're seeing the knockback here given to us by having the eight and a half uh, or the eight inch nails along with uh, with the cricket's body splash damage. We've got so many options here. Okay, so I'm gonna no. Let's let's leave those. Let's let's actually just this out here we made up a lot of lost time thanks to uh card reading the room's there but okay so let's go back and uh get one charge i'm gonna need one more charge to get rock bottom to be lazy here but we got plenty of bombs because we're just rich like that Those glitter bomb or Nancy bombs, and then we go. We just need to fill two. Basically, we just need to fill two pips on the uh, on our active item, and then we'll have those mini charges. We'll have the rest of the charge. We've already done so, but we may be able to actually fill out the rest of it without using these full charges, well, mini charges anyway, as we have to make our way all the way back to the item room. So, good on you, game, for proving me or making me look like an idiot once again. <laughs> Oh yeah, the item rooms are usually right next to the boss room. Ha ha. So he said. Heal duplex is, it's, it's kind of whatever. If we didn't have spectral tears with the uh, spirit of the night. We we would now with the fuel duplex. Again, you're seeing how nice it is to have 
the heat-seeking properties, the homing properties, whatever you want to call it, of Brainworm. And raising your shot efficiency is super good. Super, super good. Especially when you're talking about having the 4.5 volt that's going to sort of limit the... It's not going to limit anything. It's just if you want to, if you want to really, really play to the most efficient level, then having the ability to charge the to charge your active item with the four and a half volt, like having the ability to give yourself more uses of your spacebar item is better than you spending a lot of time and basically just like wasting shots and stuff. Oh man, so we have we have a five room here, but ugh, is that gonna be worth is that gonna be worth losing boss rush? I guess it, I guess not if we end up getting a double portal. So we're gonna get rock bottom first off. And uh, rock bottom is going to essentially make it to where we don't have to worry about ever losing stats ever again. Which is really, really nice. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight window. Okay, so we did get the red portal. Forgot to open up Isaac's Tomb. Really, we're just doing this for the extra boss item, essentially. Because it is actually pretty important that we get boss rush with spin down die. Although with rock bottom now, by the way, this is a total troll by the game, giving us an eternal bony in a boss room. The movement speed upgrade here. And we get Guppy's hairball. Okay, let's we can make a little bit of progress. I'm just gonna take a very quick gander. If we can maybe get a teleport card, that would be great because if we get a red portal on the next floor, we can't get out of boss rush. So we're we're kind of pressing up against it right now. We have a, we have spin down die. Fully activated and charged. The rock right now. We don't have time for this. It's time to go. Time to go. I look for the item room, and uh, that's about as that's about as much we can do. I was hoping that we we're going to get some kind of tarot card, but uh, it did not happen. So we got to book it. And if we end up having to skip skip depths two for boss rush, that's probably not a good use of. Uh, it's, it's probably not great, but we we would have to get some major value out of uh, out of boss rush, or or we could we could really book it and then try to find a teleport. Harlequin babies, Harlequin. Not Harlequin bad, but not Harlequin great, great either. Great? Not very great, guys. We're looking for the Tinted Rock here. The Tinted Skull, I mean. And uh, once again, fortunately for us, the item room was nowhere near the boss room once again. And there with the orbital, try to speed things up. You know what? We don't have, bro. What is that? Okay, okay. Physics in this game are truly spectacular to watch sometimes. Well, we found the boss room, but we're not going to be able to teleport out. So that's okay. 10 seconds. Of course, we get Blue Mom, which is the mom that doesn't uh, present herself most. And we missed it by two seconds. <sighs> yeah. I knew taking I knew taking that taking that boss portal or taking that five room was uh was not going to be worth it. 
I should have just I should have just ignored the dice room like I was I was planning on it, but curiosity got the better of me. It was just like insanely bad luck that we even got Blue Mom. If we it was, if it was Red Mom, we would have absolutely made Boss Rush. But Blue Mom is the one that spawns the most ads and also is the one that doesn't slam her foot down. She slams her foot down the least. Ace of spades. Uh, let's blow up the judgment. Oh no, I guess we don't have to blow up the judgment. Although I don't know why I put it in a curse room, but with spin down die, we can we can make some stuff happen here. sack the meat I'll take meat for the damage up and the HP is not bad either I have a Lyle the mega which man if we could somehow get kidney stone with rock bottom so here's the play. We're going to take Dark Prince's Crown first because remember we have Rock Bottom. It's going to activate Dark, Dark Prince's Crown and give us a stat boost. And now we can take Eye of Belial. We will lose Dark Prince's Crown, but we'll still maintain the stats because we have Rock Bottom. That's right. It's Invicta Smart. That is the benefit of having Rock Bottom. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. I don't want astral projection. But now with with Cricket's body and uh, Eye of Belial, it's it's just gonna get insane. Especially that we have the boosted tears tears rate of uh, of Dark Prince's crown, we are gonna be absolutely laughing at the game. More soul hearts. I will check. I'll, I'll I'll take a little peek in here. We get another soul heart. These are definitely the levels that we would want a red portal and not a blue portal. And uh, so far, we're 0 for 2 on red portals. Nice fear shot there by Mom's Perfume. Yeah, this is just the... This is where Cricket's body really starts to take a life onto its own. And because we have piercing shots now, the, the Eye of Belial tiers are going to be dealing double damage to essentially everything that they touch. And what's even better about that is that we, theoretically anyway, we would get a lot more charges on spin down die. Now, of course, we don't have any, there's no, there's no item pedestals for us to roll, so it doesn't really matter currently. But boy, howdy, when we get to the dark chest, we're going to have tons of re-rolls. Come on, bro. Yeah, we missed boss rush by two seconds, but then we beat, we got the hush with like six and a half minutes to spare. Seven and a half minutes to spare. Right? No, six and a half. Six and a half. We get our devil deal here. This is our second guppy item. Yeah, we'll be we'll be all right to go against old hushy. We've got again with rock bottom. We we want to try to get as many items as possible. So uh, the yellow portal will save us. Yeah, this is the more typical. Uh, payout for Isaac's tomb. I think it hurts is not bad here. Because if we take damage, if we take enough damage, we're going to gain a lot of tears. Now, that being said, um, it's going to take us a lot of damage in order for us to get anywhere. Because you got to remember, like, our tears rate is currently being influenced by rock bottom and uh, Dark Prince's Crown. So we would have to take enough damage for It Hurts to get us above 6.55 tiers naturally. That was a lot of a lot of money. Constellation Prize, we could roll that into uh, Revelation. Um, let's 
let's see. Do we want the luck up? He had super bandage there, but super bandage doesn't really help us out that much. I'm gonna I'm gonna get revelation. Revelation is certainly not needed. You see brainworm there influencing revelation. Revelation is good for spin down die and four and a half volt because it's, it's constant uptime on targets. So we're going to gain more charges off of that than we normally would. That's just old Hushy's super armors super bad for us but we're still we're still making it work it's the the damage doesn't really start kicking in until after we get those eyeball out tears rocking and rolling blocked my guppy's hairball right there. I don't know if you caught that. Revelation was kind of was kind of blocking the visual on that shot and backed up just a little bit enough for guppy's hairball to intercept it. Of course, then we got hit immediately after. But you know, I, got, I got to call out the big time plays. We got, we got actually hit once, which means it activated. It hurts. But the reason why you didn't see our tears rate goes up, because remember, the 6.55 tears is just a mask from uh, rock bottom. And we would need to we would need to eclipse that before we'd start seeing any more tears, tears ups. Um, yeah, that's we've already taken everything. So we could we could take old capacitor. I guess we can get we can get super banished now. Um, we could take old capacitor, but brain, brain worm is still pretty invaluable for our shot efficiency. So we are 0 for 3 on red portals. Pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, as long as we get the red portal for the for the uh, the level that counts, which is dark chest. So now we've taken damage to the point where it goes beyond what our tears rate is. And now, if you're if here's here's another thing, if you're wondering, wait a second, hang on now, buddy, hang on a second. You got hit once on Hush, and it didn't do anything. You got hit once down here in Shoal, and now it gave you some tears. What kind of hacks are you running? Well, Cletus, here's the thing. Remember how I said that the 6.55 or whatever was a mask from Rock Bottom? It still raised the lower... It still raised the amount of tears that we had from the last... From getting hit by Hush. It just raised our base tier stat from that. So now, what, so instead of us having five point whatever tiers, we now probably started around six point something. It was obviously lower than 6.55, but that is the new floor of our tiers rate, thanks to Rock Bottom, and, and it hurts. So now, every time we get hit, it's just going to go up even more and more, because now 7.75 is the new floor of our, uh, of our base tier stat value. That makes sense. So we didn't have to, we no longer had to eclipse, get hit two or three times to get over 6.55. Now we just have, we just simply have to go past, well, 7.75, and we easily did that. Um, also, we did get the red portal, thankfully. Uh, let's see, we got twisted, twi twisted pair. Uh, yes, we'll take twisted pair. That gives us Guppy with nine lives. So we could do that. Bloody Gust is also not terrible. 
Take Bloody Gust. Then re-roll. We get Dead Cat. We got Guppy. We got Twisted Pair. We got the Red Portal. Got ourselves a baller run. Just listen to all the charges that we're getting on the spin down die. Oh my goodness. Lamb gets absolutely sheared. I can see uh, Kilo 8, Romeo Tango 3, Hotel Bravo X-Ray. Very nice. Now, these portals do not exist because we're on a victory lap. So it's just, a, just a, one of those fun bugs in Repentance. And with Rock Bottom, we can we can, we can can actually take pills uh, because we won't ever lose stats. But we can also lose HP, though. So, yeah, so luck down doesn't really matter. Rock bottom just gives you, a, it just opens up a world of possibilities. That would be death certificate. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What you thinking? Thinking, thinking kidney stone? Cause I'm thinking kidney stone. Binge eater would also be kind of a thing, but kidney stone is just it's just so good for for rock bottom. Like it is ridiculously good. Now then, if we get kidney stone, which I'm probably going to end up taking, uh, that is going to take a long time for it hurts to to eclipse that. And I think that it hurts. I think that it does give you. I think it caps out at some point. So as so just to it, further explain my trying to help you understand how rock bottom works. We just took small rock, which is a tears up, right? So now our new floor is, is somewhere around seven ish or so, which means that we would still have to take one more hit in order for us, or maybe even two for us to eclipse what we normally would have with uh, it hurts, but we're about to get kidney stone and that's about to get blown out of the water. We're just looking for kidney stone now, especially with guppy. Oh man. This is going to be a, a just a shellacking. Ooh, careful, we almost took it. Uh, I'm looking for there, there's rock bottom again. Here we're going. I mean, honestly, glitch crown also wouldn't be too terrible, but we don't want we don't want glitch crown. We want kidney stone. We got we got a rock bottom here. They could also argue in favor of like you know sacred. Uh, Sacred Orb or even Damocles, but I want to have just the just the laser beam of, of tears that you get with uh, Kidney Stone Rock Bottom. You just got to find it now. Brimstone 2020. Hive Mind Guppy is always good. Proptosis. Here's another thing about death certificate is that like it doesn't like there's a lot of extra chests and stuff that exist in here that are like you know it, it's a good not only is it a is it great because you get to pick any item you want because hey uh, but also it's great because it gives you like lots of keys and 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 hearts and bombs and stuff so it's it's good value any stone should be in here it is not. I, leave, I basically I leave the room to realign myself. I don't accidentally walk into something. There it is. <clears throat> there she be. We go back and take spin dizzle. And now watch our tears rate go mad. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, way, way, way better than soy milk. It's better than sacred heart. It's better than anything. Now we just delete everything in the game. This is called overwhelming amounts of damage. Get a range up here, which doesn't really matter. Oh, this is an XL floor. I didn't realize that. Well, well, take synth oil and uh, yeah, money goes power. Money goes power plus uh, plus rock bottom is great because we can never lose. No matter how much money we spend, we can never lose that amount. Of, uh, of damage we've gotten up to what we have 32 cents right now yeah it's 
instant charges on uh, Spin Down Die, too, so that's pretty nice. Take the etern Eternal Heart. Oh my goodness, this is just... This is just absolute madness. Uh, we can get the body. We should probably get the body. Dead Onion. We, I mean, we could even take Dead Onion, but there's literally no reason to. We already have Piercing. We already have, like, Amazing Shot Speed. We're, we're sorted. More photo is going to do nothing for us. It gives us some shot speed. We're just looking for that item room, that pesky item room. Come back and get those soul hearts in a second. And now, I mean, you're look, you're seeing the the fruits of our labor while holding on to uh, Brain Worm, because Brain Worm is going to just it's just going to make things so much easier and better uh, for us to clear out these rooms. Really, really efficiently. Temperance machine doesn't really matter. Oh, there's brain worm again. Yeah, I'm not even holding down the fire key right now. We're just it's just firing, and that's be like, like revelation will proc over and over and over again whenever whenever kidney stone is proc as well, which is kind of neat. Didn't, we didn't get a full charge? Kid me. Does this count as damage? It does not. Big flat key, though. Wow, oh, that sucks. I thought we were going to get a full charge off of that. We're like... Uh, we're, we're like maybe one hit away from getting a full charge. That's not going to happen. I, thought, I was hoping there was going to be some mobs in here, but... What can you do? Yeah, like I said, we were we were one hit away from from getting a full charge there. So, uh, Horror Babylon. Man, we could take it. I don't think it's gonna give us anything, but Spider Babby, why not? Come on. Come on down, Spider Babby. Yeah, so like right now, I'm not even holding down the fire the fire button, and it's just going to continually proc Revelation over and over and over again. Even this is where conjoined. Also, I wouldn't I wouldn't turn down having conjoined just because again we can't be affected by the damage down. That's what we need right there is jumper cables. Jumper cables are going to give us charges on our spacebar item every time we kill 15 enemies. And an easy way to remember that is... Uh, also, I, I totally forgot to go back and get steam sale. I'm just not realizing it. Um, the way you can, you can remember what jumper cables do is you think about the just the cost of it normally if it wasn't for sale. It costs 15 cents. Every 15 enemies that you kill uh, gets you uh, gets you another charge. Not a full charge, but a single charge on your active item. It's a mystery chest, and that turns into a bunch of stuff we don't want. Although Tech Zero would be Tech Zero would be pretty neat, but I think it's <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we don't need Tech Zero. We don't need anything on this run. I mean, we're gonna dominate everything that we find, and I mean everything. Inch nails again. And what's neat about spin down die is that you can give yourself multiple R keys too. Okay, so we don't actually want to take the red portal here because we may want to go fight old beastie. I mean, old beastie and dogma are just going to melt. We can essentially go fight whatever we want. Sacred Orb right there. Sarah from Transformation. Crack Jacks. I mean, it's, we don't need the HP at this point. I do want to do boss rush just for S's and G's, though.
the, the non-English speaking mosh pit's gonna be like, hey, what's a, what's an SMG? Uh, go. You, you have to you have to find out from the comment section. That'll be today's today's question of the day. What what terms have you heard me use over the course of these of these Isaac videos for however long you've been you've been watching? What slang or what terms have you never heard before until you started listening to this to this podcast, as it were? Battery's so good here. That's all great. Still looking for the tenant skull, by the way. We have not found yet. It's right there in the last literal room that we could have possibly found it in. What else would you expect? I'll post it. I'll, I'll post the comment. I'll pin it. If, oh, by the way, uh, sometimes the pinned comments, my pinned comments in particular, don't show right away. Even though, like, so the, the process of me showing, or the process of me pinning my own comment is I have to make the video unlisted first, leave a comment, pin it, and then and then re-private it. Oh man, holy shot with this with this tears rate. Good lord. I don't know who's over there, but Who is no oh, Dookie, how are you still alive through all that? You should have been way dead. I'm offended that it took so long to kill Duke. The solo cane here. And this is just a beam of of death that we've got right here. We don't want any was. That is pure domination right there. Uh, I guess I guess I should have been touching those books too. Maybe maybe the devil deal is still open. Maybe. Oh, it is. Wow. We're gonna get bookworm here. Let me get down and uh, book of the dead and spin down die. Let's flip and pointy rib. And we will just go fight old Beastie, because I think, honestly, this is going to be an incredible thing to see. And remember, everybody, we are only one away from the like streak goal. And if it happens, if it happens this uh, on this video, then we'll be doing it this weekend. That live stream that everybody's been looking forward to. It's going to be a long stream. Now, one thing I, I still have not decided on uh, what I'm going to do about the uh, about the runtime of the stream, because I mean, it's it's not like it's going to be limited by the VOD or anything, but there also is not going to be like there's not going to be people who can watch the whole thing in one sitting. So I may break it up into two streams, or I can do it by I don't know, or or I could do something to the effect of like. Terrible soul of the keeper. I could do something to the effect of like, you know, we'll we'll break it up into parts, like so we go passive items, active items. Something like that. We'll figure it out. Okay, there's the entire level, everybody. Now let's go see what our final item room is. How could you have spent our savings? 
is purity. I'll take purity because it's going to give us a guaranteed... Well, it didn't give us a guaranteed stat up. It, it gave us the tears. It's Tomb topping us off here. And remember, you can use bombs inside of the Ascent. They'll be afraid to do so. You can actually take the, uh, the cracked key and we can use it to get um, Inner Child. Just walk through the chest. Yeah, even the uber mobs are just melting here. That mom's key, which doesn't really matter. I guess, I guess we can take it. And really, another all-star of this run is Brainworm. Like, if this is if this has done anything, at least it shows you how great it is to be able to just fire just straight into a room and have Brainworm still hit, like, all the targets that you want. Like, I'm straight up just not even aiming things. Like, it just, it just kind of happens. We are just, it is just an absolute smoking. Good way to kick off Tuesday here. We've had, we've had two really good runs back to back here. And, uh, in a great week runs to cap off a, a great start to the runs too. A great start to the week, I should say. We're going up and up and up and it's time to see old beastie. One more time. Continuum would be absolutely hilarious. Now, we could have taken Epiphore, too, and Epiphore is not too bad with Rock Bottom, except I don't think that Epiphore is going to eclipse what we already have for a tears, tears rate. And, uh, Friend Finder, yeah. Sure. Friend Finder. We say thank you to Spin Dizzle, helping us out greatly. Get Mom's Ring, which is going to give us a slightly more bit of damage. And, uh, yeah, keep it keep an eye out on the uh, on the charges that we're gonna get on Friend Finder because it's about to get insane. We're we're about to flood the room with nothing but friends. Not this room, but the the beast fight. I think Dogma's very confused right now. Of course, Friend Finder is not all that useful against Beastie because, like, most of the time, the friends just go straight into the lava. Oh my god, that is... All right, well, Ultra Famine, he didn't have a good time. Yeah. Come on, team. I do love how the lava rocks are just kind of sitting, sitting in a suspended animation in the air. Yep. So an absolute mess that we've made. <laughs> Where did Death go? Death, you okay, buddy? Apparently we took a hit from something. Your guess is as good as mine, but we got a holy bony too. I tell you what. A friend finder absolutely smoking everything. But what a run! If you smell what the rock is cooking, rock bottom that is, and man. We absolutely dominated this run 
from the start, we had great starting stats with Mini Mush, and uh, we just never stopped. So this is just this is, looks comical. I don't even know where our, where our friends are. They're over there somewhere. I'm just I'm just wailing on the spacebar button at this point just to see how many friends we can get. So. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you had a great start to your Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, remember, we're trying to get over 3,000 likes for the Like Street goal. And don't forget about that question of the day. What terms have you heard me use that you've never heard before and now you're starting to use in your own everyday vernacular because thanks to the oh, my stupidity and the Isaac runs. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Dylan135High, Jim Jim, Harry Jim, and Alvin Sheldon. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.